members of the group. How do you, what do you say to them to convince them to join? Now, you know, there is a, um, we wear pins. It's part of our trademark. And people would wonder at times when they see these pins on you. They would read. They don't understand what it's all about. But I will start from an angle to say when you meet people who are naturally sad or people that you know are not happy, what comes to your mind? How to make them happy? There must be something that is not making them happy. It will not be a happy person. Nobody needs to tell you. You will see from the face. Well, even on the street. So you could just wander all over the old place. Somebody carrying a tray of so a tray of something that's not more than 2,000 in the sun, walking up and down. And you are able to bring that person to improve what that person is doing. I don't need to go about with this tree in the sun. We can provide something better for you to earn a living. Or you have children on the street that just remember they have no access to education. And you find you have found a way in which you can support them to be in school and provide some basic educational needs for them. Or you went to an hospital and you saw a child that is dying and they told you, oh, we only have two incubators and this one has done for this child and this child is dying and you are able to provide. When I was president of my club, at Jeremy Ifedo Health Center, we conducted this assessment in that hospital. And we saw how kids had no access to incubator. And definitely it means that maybe they will, I mean, they will lose their lives because they won't be able to, no oxygen, nothing to. And I decided, before I became president, year before, I went around to see what I would need to provide. And I chose that that hospital must get an incubator, whatever it's going to cost. When I was present, it was donated to the hospital with phototherapy machine. That is the one that removes your, um, your this yellow, what do you call it, um, bilirubin from the side. The child has jaundice. The one that we clear the jaundice, it's why I provided. And you know, you have to go back to and check what you have been rotary, we don't give you anything. You want to see that the thing is sustainable and they're being used to it. When I went back, and I saw babies inside the two incubators. I know we branded it, Holy Club of Lagos West. You know what came to my mind? If these ones were not provided, these kids cannot be here. Probably they wouldn't be alive. Of course, I ensured that when we had the opportunity as a club again, on the bigger, on the larger scale, and that was the maternal and child center in Festac Town. We need a bigger project of such, um, of, of similar project. Incubators, EACC machines, AEG machine, and so on and so forth. So you tell the that if you know you have money, I don't know where your money can work for you. Look at the next person to you and see what you can do. When you go around places, you see those that need, that you can provide for, that seeing the benefits and the joy they have derived, you'll be happy with yourself. If two or three people can provide one incubator, it means other people can provide a minimum of ten. Mm -hmm. So the more we are, the better we can reach out to more people. And that is our advocacy. Come and join us. People have money. Unless they don't know where to apply the money. Men don't even know what to They have never heard about what to is or what to does. And they even take some things to some places where they are never used to. People there will share and distribute them. We have seen those that have contributed, they have donated to hospital health centers. There are those working there, they are the ones that cut them off. But in Rotary, Rotary will give directly to the beneficiaries. It's not being passed to anybody, to anybody. So that is the difference. And nobody will see what is good. 
that is given in somebody, somebody else, unless you are wicked, somebody joy that you know what you are part of food, particularly when you can afford to do it. And the credibility in lottery is so much different. That is where you put your money and you know your money will be utilized, it will be spent judiciously. The rule of integrity will apply. You give not to get gains. But the gains will come. Because in order you make connections, you meet people that ordinarily you would not have no mess if we had not connected you together. And the connections can open greater doors for you that it has, that has happened to so many people. I have entered our uh, flood first class, not a business class, courtesy of a Lutea, who I met, I mean, we are going to Turkey and I was born in 20 I said, I didn't see where you are. I'm already, I'm already checking. I'm on board. I said, you have the problem. You have to check, check this ticket, a ticket. She was with the lady. She's the lady. And she checked her ticket. And we entered the same aircraft. I sat down. And she moved to me. And I said, please, can you please follow me? I thought probably you wanted to win and excuse the person behind me because she had discovered somebody sitting with me. That I will cast on the two of us can sit together. She said, where's my hand I told her where the hand I showed her the hand luggage. She opened the cabin, but the hand down, downstairs to follow. I followed her. She took me straight to business class. I was wondering what happened. He said, No, you will sit here. I'm going to, I'm going to take your seat. Take your time, you're ready. You don't drop off. Um, whatever that drop. Lucky Gold. I mentioned her name so you can know that it's not a fictitious story. And immediately I sat down. I did a video and I sent to my husband. I bought economy ticket, but I'm in the business class. Cosy of a rotary, rotary is good. And that was not a look, that was not your destiny. Just a look at flight to Abuja. I sat down, made my number, waiting for us to be called. And this young man came, look at my face. You know, they will know you, you will not know them. Because he said I carry a rookie bag. I look at my face and he saw the rookie bag. And he said, Yes, I know you, but you don't know me. Please come, follow me. I went. He took me to the she. He took me to the VIP lounge. Arranged for <laughs> for food for me. And while he was arranging for the meal, I did video again. Showed to my children. That's the way I do it. But I mean, the same platform, the same platform. I said, look at me. Enjoying at the VIP lounge. Or see of a rotarian. Rotary is good. That is rooted for you. What you have done to people that you don't know. All the people who don't know you are the ones that will pay you back. That is enough to tell anybody that it's good to be a hotel. Yeah.